Welcome to the, welcome to the Real MMA show, Master Wang, Tom T behind the camera, Paul McVeigh in front of the camera. How's it going? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man, I'm good. Just a, a wee, you're obviously uh, one of the, the best, if not the best, Scottish competitor in MMA. Sure. And okay. you're, uh, you've been in the, the UFC, the tough experience. You've obviously kind of coached, and that's a big part of your sort of thing. Um, you've been down to fight in Bama. Yeah. Can you just give uh, give us some a wee introduction to yourself? Uh, spiel about who you are, what you are, what excites you. <laughs> no, that's a, bit, uh, a big question. You, know? is, you could probably speak pretty, for like, three years. If you're that, asking but... me to talk about myself, I could do that for a while. Well, my name's Paul McVeigh. I've got a record of 18 and six. I've been ranked as the European number, uh, the number one European bantamweight, who's not Brad Pickett for uh, several years now. And yeah, I'm fighting Obama. I'm fighting Eric Perez from Greg's, uh, Greg Jackson's gym. So it's going to be a tough opponent. Uh, but like the preparation's going really well. So I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm pretty much done now. Is your um, the experience you had? Obviously, you fought in Europe. You fought all over Europe, Scotland, England. You fought in the US. You fought US competitors. Yep. This uh, all these different levels of experience coming against strikers, coming against wrestlers, against jiu-jitsu guys. Yeah. What is uh, Eric's background, and what is uh, and what do you see as? The well, he's kind of he's got he's a Greg Jackson's guy, so he's he's good at everything, you know. But he's he's also got a Mexican background. And that he's Mexican, and it, it, which means he's mental. Like, you know, he, he's, he's an exciting fighter, very skilled at all ranges, and I've only really seen the fight with James Brum from the last Bama, and from that he just looks very, very solid, you know. Like, but again, I don't really get to fight bad fighters ever anymore. It'd be nice, you know, to go in and smash some guy in 20 seconds, but that doesn't really happen anymore. Everybody's pretty meaty. Yeah, everyone's pretty solid, you know. What do you do on your downtime? How does how do you relax? What do you do to just can kick back after a hard day session, or can you've been coaching, yeah. or you've been uh, in somebody's corner? Yeah. How do you relax? Uh, pretty much. Well, I've got Skyrim. That's going to keep, uh, on PlayStation, so that's going to keep me uh, sorted for the next for this weight cut anyway. Um, I play a lot of games and stuff. I'm a comic book nerd. I, I rock climb. I've got to, I do a lot of stuff. I hang out with my wife, almost said girlfriend. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've got a wife now, and. That's pretty much it. I hang out with my friends a lot. Like you know, we're pretty much regular fixtures and Nando's and stuff. But you know, just pretty much normal fourteen-year-old teenager stuff. You know, which is disturbing so, when I'm almost thirty. On the, on the uh, comic book sort of thing, there. Yeah. What what is your favourite graphic novel or your top oh, three of, graphic of all time. novels? Oh, no, okay. just three graphic novels. I'm about to ask you later about again how to get people into MMA, but as you brought up graphic novels, yeah. Bit. Three graphic novels grip someone and say, "You know, I want to read some more of these uh, instead of watching the really bad again uh, movies, Hollywood movies." Okay, uh, I go last one. The I read Frank Miller's Dark Knight Strikes Again. That was pretty cool. A um, hundred bullets and Criminal by Brubaker. Those are pretty solid. All of those. Those are really good. Yeah, have you ever uh, read Kingdom Come? Oh, the uh, DC man. one. Yeah, no, I've read it. I've only just started getting into DC. For years, it was like a Marvel and kind of Vertigo, and like fuck DC. But now I'm kind of getting into it. Oh, that's well, good. Um, yeah, it's good. I've been kind of reading a lot of Batman stuff. Uh, I was just read Nightfall yesterday. Good. Yeah, What's it was cool. Opinion? Well, yeah, it was cool. It was kind of like um, you seen like the deconstruction of a superhero and stuff. It was pretty cool. And then being Broker Spine, and then Night Quest. So I'm gonna keep going with that. Yeah. I like it. Leading on to that, you've obviously you're passionate about these sort of things. Yep. There's a lot of young people, as we've seen today, just maybe their first competition yeah. or that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, obviously, notorious the Grip House. What sort of information you got for people coming through? Can they come down? Is yeah. it a, a place where you can just walk up? What's the info? Yeah, definitely. Like uh, we get a lot of people asking about like um, coming down and doing MMA. Um, we don't. Our MMA program is a sparring program. So what we try to get everyone to do is realize that mixed martial arts is separate sports. It's like you know you need to be proficient in like you know. Uh, Thai, boxing, wrestling and jiu-jitsu before you really put it all together in the MMA and after that the only real coaching we do is tactical like you know and a couple of things with like a, a lot of different stuff with the pro team do with cage work and using the cage as a I don't know it's, uh, the cage work stuff is almost a martial art in itself and so we always encourage people to come down we've got fundamentals programs in all those sports so we can bring guys up um, I think you've seen that today the, the level of the beginners is ridiculous and like you know they're they're better than some of the advanced divisions you know because they've been trained right from the start oh like you know when we started we were kind of winging it we were like you know yeah tom good knows as well man like we were guessing stuff and moving around and kind of just trying to figure out what works now we know we got systems in place and we got guys who are like 
almost at the level of like, you know our top fighters within a couple of years, which is upsetting for me. So the future's bright. For yeah, definitely. Grip House and Scottish MMA. Pretty much, you see, like, um, like it's busy today, and they've got lots of like the teams are all solid. There's no one coming in and like you know trying to squeeze someone's head off. You know, like you would have seen a couple of years ago. Now they're all like you know flying on barring each other and flying triangle on each other. It's, it's very very solid. It's cool. And uh, just to, to finalise it. Um, do you have any thanks to any sponsors or energy can your, your team etc sure. and then your sort of well, a, a, a quote or, or something quotes. inspirational I don't have anything inspirational <laughs> I'm not a very inspirational person anyway uh, yeah I'd like to thank uh, Warrior Promotions who manage me um, that's Ian Dean and Graham Boylan who kind of basically tell me who to attack They're, I'm like a pet attack monkey um, they just point at someone and go go beat that guy up like, alright um, he said sports give me lots of free supplements I went in and raided Chris's shops yesterday when he was all busy with the weigh-ins and who else I think I might be getting sponsored by Clinch Gear but I'm not sure and as for I don't really have anything motivational okay, it kind of put me on the spot there um, maybe it does have to be an, an actual quote just yeah. like a can come to the grip house and train or yeah you probably should come into the grip if, if you are interested in MMA I think it's hard to find a better place to you like you know Ideally, I'd recommend yeah, train to the places nearest to you. At least then you'll go. But if you if you're really passionate about it, like you know, when you and the grip house is like you know within your like Jim Dolan travels like 40 miles every day, 40 miles back to train with us, and like you know he's one of the best guys in like Europe. Um, and he's beats me up, Arsenal. <laughs> and like you know we got a lot of guys traveling all over the place, and I think it's it's like anyone who's sort of, like you know a great fighter is probably been at the grip house or trains there. Um, we have systems in place and it just makes everything easier like you don't really need to think you just turn up and train and you get good it works out quite well and then finally yeah. finally, finally, finally 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 just uh, a, a quick uh, um, two camera but again Paul McVeigh being at Bama the date the, so just the sure. the seller info okay I'm Paul McVeigh and I'll be fighting at Bama on October no not October it's December <laughs> I get punched in the head quite a lot. December the 10th uh, versus Eric Perea. It's, it's an Irish guy fighting a Mexican, which is pretty much like guaranteed to be mental. Okay, Enjoy the fight. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Seriously. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, Master Ryan. Hey, Jim, my man. Look, it's like a cruising through that paper, I'm looking for something specific. Hey, what's the deal? I'm looking for some Scottish MMA events. Should have been looking at the Times, my man. Should be looking at www.themmashow.info on our front page of a calendar of all the fantastic events and seminars happening here in Scotland. We also have photographs and reviews of all the major events. Oh. And we have news feeds and worldwide stories of all the top MMA rumour and gossip from around the world. And they can watch the videos right there on the front page. Right there on the front page, my man. Not a times, by the way. I'm sold.